This video will assist you in completing a home DNA collection using our collection kits or using your own collection supplies. We'll also give you helpful tips on shipping samples for infidelity testing, and we'll cover new collection techniques that help minimize recollections due to a lack of DNA on the cotton swab. First, you'll want to label your swab envelopes. It's easier to write on the envelope if you take the buccal swab, better known as the Q-tips, out of the envelope. Be sure to use the appropriate envelope for each person tested. For example, child's envelope for the child, alleged father's envelope for the father, etc. Write in the requested information asked on the envelope. Next, you'll want to collect the samples. Don't worry, this part is easy and painless. Open the wrapper at the opposite end of the polyester tip. Remove one swab from the package and be careful not to touch the polyester tip. Be sure that your mouth is open wide. Insert a swab into the mouth and rub it firmly up and down inside the cheek for a full 30 seconds. Be sure to rotate the swab in efforts to collect cells on the entire swab tip. This helps reduce the need for recollection. Remove the swab from the mouth and place it directly into the paper envelope labeled for that person. The swab will be wet and will get the envelope wet, but that's completely normal and will dry within a few hours after the swab envelope is sealed. Contrary to some of your favorite television shows, the laboratory is testing the cheek cells on the swab, not the saliva. Repeat the swab collection process with the remaining swabs in the package for that person. Use two swabs on the right cheek and two on the left cheek. After both swabs have been used, seal the paper swab envelope labeled for that person. Don't put the swabs back in the wrapper. Put them directly in the swab envelope. Simply follow these steps for each person being tested. Complete and sign the client information form included with your DNA kit. These forms can be emailed to you if you're using your own DNA collection supplies. Lastly, the awesome thing about using FACET DNA technology for testing is that our test includes free overnight return shipping of your samples to the laboratory. Place all the collected participant swap envelopes along with the completed client information form in the prepaid shipping envelope provided. Seal the shipping envelope securely. Depending on where you are located within the country, we may provide you with a UPS, FedEx, or United States postal label. Be sure to look at your return envelope and place it in the proper mailing receptacle. Make a note of your tracking number so you'll know exactly when we receive it. As far as infidelity samples, for example, on their garments, we treat these cases with utmost confidentiality. If you're sending a sample from an undergarment for an infidelity test, please either cut and ship the area you want tested or circle the area you want the lab to test. Please put the sample in the collection envelope we provide or envelope from your home. After calling to set up your case, we're going to provide you with a case number. Please write this case number on the envelope you place the samples into. It's wise to put that case number on the front and back of the shipping envelope also. Always put DNA samples in a paper envelope. Plastic bags tend to deteriorate DNA samples over time. When shipping samples back to the lab, always keep a copy of your tracking number so you know exactly when the samples arrive and which one of our representatives signs for it. We hope this information helps you complete your collection with ease. Feel free to contact us with questions, 503-468-1227, www.facednatest.com.